happy therapy is a field of science wherein we deal with uh, developing, no? uh, utilizing honey and, hon and other uh, bee products that we can apply for certain diseases or therapy. What we're trying to do right now is come up with new biomedical products that we can use for both animals and humans. As for the formulated bee products that we specifically tested together with the UPLBB program, the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute, we developed a propolis base wound dressing and tested its wound healing capacity and antimicrobial property. Yung honey natin, there are so many molecules inside it. And ang isa sa pinaka-importante, what we call the phenols. These are substances na dito natin ina-attribute yung wound healing property niya. Meron din siya tinatawag na anti-inflammatory effect. Ibig sabihin nun, no, nare-reduce yung pamamaga. Meron din siyang tinatawag na antioxidant property. So, ibig sabihin nun, no, kung magkaroon ka ng wound, pinaprevent din niya na masira yung certain cells or parts of the cells ng skin. And then, meron din mga studies na yung sa process mismo ng pag ng wound, pinapabilis niya by increasing yung number ng cells na nag heal ng ating sugat. And it's also the same thing for propolis. Pareho sila ng substances na naandon. That's a reason why it can enhance the rate of wound healing. So yung propolis, kita naman natin dito, no? This is a material that is being produced in the uh, hives. Matigas siya. And then, when we do chemical extraction, so magiging liquid siya na ganito. Yung liquid material na yan, or liquid propolis, that's the one that we utilize to develop the wound dressing. Yung number one objective namin is to test yung propolis if it's really enhancing yung rate of wound healing, no? Pinapabilis niya yung paggaling ng sugat. Tapos, pangalawa, kalimitan, pag may sugat kasi tayo, so nagkakaroon ng contamination, nagkakaroon ng nana. So, that's also one of our objective to check if it would actually prevent yung development ng infection or yung pagkakaroon ng nana. And another objective is to compare with commercial wound dressing kung uh, pareho ba yung epekto nila in terms of uh, paggaling ng sugat at saka pag-prevent na magkaroon ng nana yung sugat. Initially, uh, what we did was nag-collect ng fresh na propolis and then yung fresh na propolis ngayon, in-extract siya no? chemically so that we could come up with purified propolis. Yung development ng ating propolis agenate dressing was through the collaboration with uh, the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. After extraction, pinoproseso namin yan dito sa amin para maporma ng isang, it's like a pad, and then test it before and after irradiation. We are involved in the application, ang tinatawag natin na peaceful application of radiation. Kasi pag tina, sinasabi yung radiation, na, natatakot ng mga tao. But endorsed nga po itong technology na to by international uh, body like World Health, Food and Agriculture, our local uh, uh, Bureau of Food and Drugs, and the Codex also. Nagpaproseso kami ng mga different kinds of materials, biomaterials, and uh, like for example nga itong ginawa namin with UPLB for health application. We developed the product here and then test. Ang final sterilization process after we develop and test the product ay uh, dito namin ginagawa and then irradiate dun sa 
irradiation facility. During the process of development ng isang produkto, tinetest nga namin siya in terms of uh, absorbency. Kung may suga tayo, may mga uh, exudates na lumalabas or mga parang basa-basa or liquid na. So, so, ang purpose niya is to absorb that. Ano. So, may absorbing capacity ba itong produkto namin? Ang tensile strength ba nito or ang tibay ba nito is tama lang para hindi masira siya after irradiation? Ang pH content ba nito is tama rin. So, tinitest namin lahat yan. And is it sterile after we process it by radiation? Based on sa aming mga result ng aming uh, the studies, it can absorb the exudates of the wounds. And sa aming uh, nakita na after one year, shelf life, still ano, sterile. Pagkatapos ma-develop ng wound dressing na yun, uh, so yung next step naman namin, no? is uh, to check yung antimicrobial or antibacterial activity. So, pag sinabi mo to, ibig sabihin, tinitingnan namin kung epektibo ba siya doon sa mga bakterya na nagkokos ng nana. Ang ginawa namin, yung mga animals, specifically pusa, na merong sugat, si luwab yun. Tapos, kinoculture namin yung swabs So, makikita namin ano ba yung mga mikrobyo na naandon. So, ang usual na mikrobyo na naandon, yung tinatawag nating Staphylococcus aureus. Ito yung same na nagkokos ng ating uh, acne o kaya pag nagkakaroon ka ng pigsa. Nung tinest namin yung in vitro, nung particular na mikrobyo yun, so yung bakterya naandon siya sa dish and then doon namin inilalagay yung propolis yung Staphylococcus aureus, nung binilagyan namin yun ng 30% propolis, hindi nag-grow yung mikrobyo. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung propolis natin ay epektibo. Yung next step namin na ginawa, no? so, na-determine na namin yung antimicrobial activity niya uh, in vitro. So, chinek din namin ngayon yung effect niya ngayon sa mga different animal models. No? So, yung isa naming animal na ginamit ay yung mga daga. And then, meron din kaming trial na ginawa sa mga pusa. Yung trial na ginawa namin sa pusa, ito yung ginamit namin, itong extracted na propolis. So, yung propolis, in sa sugat ng pusa at nakita namin, mabilis yung pag-heal ng wound nila. Tapos yung mga pusang yan din, hindi rin sila nag-develop ng nana. So, ibig sabihin, epektibo yung ating propolis na mapagaling yung sugat at ma-prevent na magkaroon ng nana. Yung sa daga naman, pero kaming um, wound model na bukas yung wound. Ito yung tinatawag namin incisional wound. Ito yung hindi tinatahe. At meron kaming model din ng sugat na tinatahe kasi masyado siya malaki. So, ito, ang ginawa naman namin, yung dinevelop na propolis wound dressing, nakita din namin na napabilis yung paggaling ng gantong klase ng mga sugat at hindi rin sila nagkaroon ng nana. Yung susunod na step na ginawa namin, nangulekta kami ng skin samples kung saan yung wound at saka yung nag na area. Tapos yun, uh, pinroses namin siya. Ito yung tinatawag na histopathological processing ng skin samples. Tinitingnan din namin kung nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na keloid. At tinitingnan din namin kung permanently ba nakalbo yung area kung saan nandun yung sugat. Pero yung tinreat ng propolis dressing, walang keloid formation at saka nag-grow yung hair ng mga daga at saka pusa. Tapos, meron din tayong tinatawag na mga sweat glands. No? Bak kaya, bakit pinagpapawisan? Meron tinatawag tayong fat glands. So, tiningnan din namin yon So, dun sa ating propolis alginate uh, dressing treatment, so, lahat ng, ng strukturang yon naandun yon sa ating tinrit. Nakita namin... Um, especially the propolis alginate dressing natin, 
nung naghihil yung sugat na nilagyan nito, so parang wala nangyari sa sugat. So ang skin ang microscopic no uh, features nung skin natin ay kapareho nung intact na skin na walang sugat. So ibig sabihin noon yung paghihil ng sugat na yon ay maganda kasi napabalik yung dating o itsura ng normal na skin. Yun na yung culmination ng ng study namin eh. So maipakita namin using uh, yung uh, laboratory mouse at saka yung pusa na effective yung 30% ethanol extracted propolis at saka yung propolis algenate wound dressing. This particular wound dressing is the first to be developed locally. Even some doctors have tried using it. Kung ano talaga, makaka-absorb ba siya ng sugat? Makakagaling ba siya? And then, na-prove naman na talagang it can really heal wounds. Several kinds of wounds like uh, burns, chemical burns, and then the deep wounds. Nung may nasunog no, sa ulo, we have documented that and makikita mo talaga yung sugat na sugat up to third degree burns. It was already healed after 60 days. 